when was the last time we saw something like this? Gosh, a lot of years. And we have this to thank for it. This year, we had wonderful winter rains. We, we didn't have that much, maybe about four inches, but they were well spaced during the month of December, January, and February. That wet weather paired with cool nights kept these saguaros hydrated well into spring. By the 1st of April, our saguaros were fat and sassy because they had sucked up all this moisture this year from the winter rains. Soon after, we saw this blooms across the Sonoran Desert, some even in our front yards. And now many of those blooms are already maturing into juicy fruit. Over the last two years, if you were watching closely, those fruits also, because there's not enough water in the saguaro, they, they wither up and they fall off. They look like little matchsticks. But this year, we had a real bonus. We had a cold front that came through in the middle of May. If you remember, we had a month's worth of rain in a matter of days, something John Schuring says could be a result of climate change. But Tucsonans know all rain is good rain, and the swirls aren't the only ones soaking it in. This year, the fruiting of the Palo Verdes, the Pudil Palo Verdes, is amazing. And so what's nice to see is that here we have the saguaros and its silent partner, the Foothill Palo Verdes, that are having such a wonderful year. And then hopefully next year, we're going to have a whole lot of baby plants that are going to be coming up to get.